Austin's top health official says he's on the verge of recommending Austin return to the lockdown mode if nothing is done to change how quickly this new coronavirus is spreading. Interim Health Authority Dr. Mark Escott briefed Austin City Council today. KXAN's Eugene Show has been listening in. Eugene, what's the latest? Yes, Sydney and Robert, Dr. Escott says we're at a point where the three hospital systems in our area have committed to sharing resources. So if one hospital runs out of ventilators, they can share. And health officials think we're going to reach and exceed that capacity starting in just a couple of weeks. Dr. Escott says people need to remember COVID-19 is a serious disease that really impacts your breathing and it could potentially have long term effects as well. Today is the first day that I feel like I'm getting some breath back. After about a week of showing mild symptoms, Jimmy Kazan says he went to an ER in North Austin. He was then transferred to St. David's in Georgetown. They have, they have all of the specialists and resources here to really help manage this virus. He received plasma with antibodies and remdesivir. So I feel very fortunate. Plus, they have some of the best pulmonary team around. So I feel like I'm in really good hands. Kazen is one of about 350 COVID-19 patients in hospitals right now in the Austin region. Dr. Mark Escott says since June 1st, hospitalizations have increased by 400 percent, even though there are still 350 beds available. This is a warning for us that two or three or four weeks down the road, we may be in a much different situation. According to Austin Public Health, we're seeing the highest positivity rate among people ages between 20 and 40. The city is working on a plan to create an overflow treatment site. Our news partners at the Texas Tribune found authorities have been floating the Austin Convention Center as an option. But Escott says what needs to happen first is people wearing masks and staying home as much as possible. Uh, but let me be very clear, we do not want to utilize that facility. We do not want to care for people outside of a hospital if we can avoid it. Now, what remains unclear is that if the city will be able to issue that strict stay home order we had back in April, the state has made it clear that state rules supersede any local orders. In Austin, Eugene Show, KXN News.